similar to what we did in the previous bill, this uh, mimics language in the Civil Practice and Remedies Code that says the, the burden um, must be substantial. That's how it is under, under RIFRA currently. So the agency, we're just making sure that this language mimics that so that we are mirroring things in other statutes. Um, the first one was acceptable. Apparently this one is not. So I'm not sure why we are going outside of what is current law in terms of this. If we are simply putting it here to state and restate and reaffirm these rights of people, then this language should be acceptable because it mimics what is currently in state law. I'd ask you to, I don't know if they're going to move to table this or not. Okay, I'll ask you to vote for the amendment then. This is current agency, under current law, agencies have to show a substantial burden. I'd ask you to vote for it. Will the gentleman yield for a question or two? Mr. Modi, do you yield? Yes. He does. So, just so that everybody knows, what, what's your, can you, what's the, what does your amendment do? Which words does it replace? It strikes, limits, hinders, disadvantages, or otherwise, and we've added substantially, which is the language that's in, um, in RIFRA currently. Okay. So, it would only apply in adopting rules on eligibility for examination for a license to practice law. The Supreme Court shall ensure that no rule substantially and adversely affects a person's, person's admission to the practice of the law on the basis of a person's sincerely held religious belief. That's the way that it would read if the amendment were adopted, yes. So if the Supreme Court adopts a rule that limits a person's admission to the practice of law on the basis of a person's sincerely held religious belief, is that going to be acceptable now? No, I probably think that there's, there's probably more important laws that govern that. So if someone hinders somebody's uh, or, or, I'm sorry, that, that modifies the person's admission. So if a person hinders the person's admission or disadvantages or adversely affects the admission to the bar, that's what you're taking out, right? If they, if they substantially do it, which is current law um, under RIFRA, then it would be covered here. So if we want to use the word limit, hinders, or whatever, these are all terms of art. So th these are all terms of art, and so rather than place new constructs in a, in, in a sunset bill like this. I think it's best to conform it what we have in current law, which is, which is substantially. Substantial. Members of the House, please come to order. Which is substantially. So. I, I just think it's best to be as broad as possible for something like this. But thank you. I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you.